So I am making this video because when I was looking, I found no videos of how to do this. So figured it out myself and I am going to post this video so you don't have to go through the same crap that I had to. So what we're doing is I am uh, putting, I was putting a whole new bumper and everything on this, new grill, uh, new chrome, things of that because the bumper was all rusted. So we'll put a new bumper, new chrome. We're gonna put new uh, lights in down here. I'm gonna switch these headlights out to a brand new headlights, but I'm switching it over to the uh, switchback LEDs. So what that means is these right here that are normally your turn signals, whenever you turn your truck on, they stay orange. And then whenever you turn your signal on, then they, of course, blink orange. Well, the switchback LEDs uh, are white and yellow. So they replace both of these bulbs. Then when you turn your truck on, they should be white. Until you turn your flashers or your turn signal on, then they will start flashing yellow. So <clears throat> I bought some resistors that I have right here. So I got these uh, 50 watt, six ohm resistors, and we are going to show you how to hook up the wiring so you don't have to worry about your uh, LEDs, uh, turn signals having hyper flash, meaning it thinks it has a bulb out. So uh, we're gonna show you that step by step. Let's jump into this video. All right, so this is the driver's side headlight. These are the turn signals. So if you have a Chevy that has the blue wires, this is not gonna go for you. This is only for your 2007 to 2013 GMC vehicles. You've got one black, two greens up here, and two tan or two brown wires. Once again, these are our turn signals on the driver side. This is gonna be the same for the passenger side, just they're gonna be over here instead of here. So we're gonna turn this this away so we have our things. First thing we're gonna do is mine's got electrical tape on it here. So I'm gonna cut this electrical tape, then I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you step by step how to exactly wire your resistors so you don't have to worry about hyper flash anymore uh, because once again, I couldn't find anything on it. So hope this video helps you. Here's our plug down here that slides into this part. I undo it. Then we have, let's move around here. <clears throat> so I undo this so I can see all of my wires. Now, if you look at this, the way this works is I've got two blacks. I've got a black that comes from this one and a black that comes from this one. That's gonna be our ground. We're gonna use both of those. So we're gonna start with this black right here. And if you look, the three wires that run up to this top light are a brown, the brown tannish color, the green and a black. We're gonna go into the black and we're going to go into the tan one because this other tan wire right here runs from this top light to the bottom light. So when we tap into our ground down here on our bottom light, that's when we're gonna use this other brown wire right here. So let's go ahead. We got our three wires up here. We're gonna tap into, once again, this brown one that goes up from the wire, not the one that comes down from here to here, but the one that comes from the pigtail itself to up here to the top light. So let's go ahead and get these two wires over here and we will get them spliced into. So we got our brown, and are black. Now, this is very simple to do. It don't matter how you load your resistors up on this. Uh, if you take your resistors, it don't matter. There's not a certain way they go on from what I've read. But what I do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the wire first. So I'm going to slide this on my black. Said I'm going to. All right, slide this on my black. 
Come on, bye-bye. Then I'm going to take my resistor. I'm just going to set it over here where it don't fall. And I'm going to slide this into this. Now, how you know how this goes is your one end of it here whoo, is completely tacked off. Oh, come on. Wow, that ain't working, is it? There it is. So one end of this is completely closed off. The other end is completely open. And so the end that's on the inside, the inside is gonna be the one that gets the red wire. Then the outside part is what's gonna get your other one. Now you're gonna need some type of pliers or something for this, but I just hold it with my hand like such. Then I have some pliers and then I'm just gonna wrap it around this and I'm gonna press down as hard as I can, make sure it gets good connection here. And that one's done, just like that. One side's hooked up. Then we take our end, we slap it around over here, and we double lock it. <clears throat> when I say double lock, one side it will click in here, so fold it all the way over. Once you fold this all the way over, it'll click in here, but you want it to click in this bottom one right here. Now, let's go to our tan wire, which here's our tan wire that runs up from the pigtail. So now we're going to take another one of these and we're going to put it on like so, just like that. Then we're going to take the other end of our resistor and we're going to just push it in there like that. Now, we've got both wires on there and ready to go. Now all we gotta do is crimp this one. Let's do that. Once you get it crimped down good, make sure you get it good because you want these connectors to work right. Then once again, we'll fold this over two clicks, click, click, that one's done. So now this bulb has completely got the resistor on it up top here. Resistor on, initiated. So now we're gonna take our black wire and we're gonna take our tan wire that runs from this top one down, tan wire, and that's gonna be the one we tap into down here. So it don't matter how you do this, you can do them over here to the side or whatever you want, just do them in the order they are. And really don't matter. So now we're gonna take, let's do, uh, let's do a red one first, I guess. We'll slide this in here, like that. All right, that's in. Now we'll get our resistor. Set it off to the side here where we ain't messing anything up. Put this on here like such. And make sure it's pushed in there all the way. And then we're going to crimp this. And it should go pretty much all the way down. So if it's not, you know, hey, crimp a little bit more. <clears throat> now we'll fold this over to click it. All right, now we're ready to do our black. So let's get our black set up here. This is going to move out of the way. Because I need this out. Because these are going to be mounted to a piece of metal on my actual truck behind the bumper here. Because these things are going to get very, very hot. So you do not want to use double-sided tape with these whatsoever. Do not use double-sided tape uh, because they get very, very hot. I'd recommend getting some tap, self-tapping screws and screw these into a piece of the metal behind the light away from the plastic uh, because once again, these do get very, very, or very, very bright, uh, very, very hot.
All right, next, we're going to do this one. And then we'll run this over here. Like so. Put that in there. Make sure it stops. Grab our pliers. And crimp away. And then click, click. And now we are ready to switch all of our wiring from this one over <coughs> to our new headlight assembly. And then we will test it. Now, before I put this in, I want to say uh, before I put this actual in the assembly itself on the truck, then I want to test this. And I want to make sure that it's working properly. That way, if it's not, maybe I've got a loose connection or something in here. I'm going to need to uh, get this completely, uh, you know, undo it and try to figure out which one's loose or crimp a little more. Maybe I didn't crimp it completely, but, uh, you know, that's usually the case. But this is going to be probably totally fine. So we're going to undo all of our headlights, put this into the new uh, headlight assembly housing, and then we will test it. All right, so one thing I would like to say is I've got this in. It did not hyper flash, but before I do anything else, I'm going to put this in, and this is what I do. I mount my headlight in, and then I look, because I need a place to mount my resistors uh, far away from anything. Uh, so if you look down in there, there's plenty of room, oh, maybe down in there on this sidebar right here, to uh, mount the resistors without them being in the way. But another good benefit of doing this is going ahead, hooking your headlights up uh, before you even mount your resistors and everything, and then making sure you don't have hyper flash on either one of the lights. Because once you turn this light on, well, you may have hyper flash. You may not have had it on you know, one once you hook this one up. Uh, you may have it. So always double, double check your lights. Make sure that, you know, you, you're not going to get the hyper flash because if you do, it's easier to pull it off now, of course, than it is to worry about it later. So uh, let's check this out. All right. So as you can tell, we're doing this pretty quick. Both of our lights are working. Let's check our hyper flash. All right. We're good on that. Let's check our other one. We're good on that one. Oh, so we got hyper flash on the one on the right over there. Now we may need to start the vehicle in order to prevent this. Let's start the car and see if we're still getting it. any hyper flash on this one since we started the vehicle and then we've got the left and it's not hyper flashing so now we're good we can mount our resistors in on this side now that we know both lights are working properly and we've got a spot to mount our resistors over here so let's do that and get this thing back together that is how you hook up the bulb, that's how you set the resistors and everything up. So I hope this helps you because it really, uh, I needed to find a video about doing this and I could not find one anywhere, anyhow. But now I made one because I was sick and tired of having to deal with it. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, good luck, guys. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to help you to the best of my ability, but thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.